Merry Christmas, Northside kids. Yes, that's right. Merry Christmas. I mean, you have Christmas in July, right? Well, we are. At least me and my buddy here, Olaf. <laughs> Everybody knows who Olaf is, right? He is so much fun. July is going to be so much fun. How many of you came out and got your family fun bucket this week? You did it? You did? Oh, good. Great. Did you freeze your freezy pops yet? Oh, awesome. Well, anyway, let's get back on track. Everybody knows this whole summer we are learning about being focused, focusing on our faith. That's pretty cool, right? Cool. All right. So you're probably a little bit confused <laughs> that I'm dressed like this, especially with it being like 98 degrees outside. Well, it's probably not 98 degrees, but it feels like it, especially when I have on this. But anyway, <laughs> who remembers what faith is about? That's our life app this month. Our key uh, phrase, our key word um, is faith, focusing on faith. And that is faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Okay, so you see me in my Christmas outfit and my Go Jesus It's Your Birthday shirt and all, and that's kind of cool. So, um, but it's really hot, so it's not really cool. And my Mickey Mouse um, snow hat. Do you have a really cool snow hat? I do, I love it. Anyway, faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And we've been putting our focus on faith all summer. And we've got more to unwrap today. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are there any presents? I wonder if there's any presents. I love presents. Do you love presents? Ooh, ooh, maybe there'll be presents. Hmm, let's see. I hope so. But for now, let's go to worship. Merry Christmas. has fallen when fear is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my hope exhausted you will be my strength when my mind says I'm
Erica, and I want to tell you about my favorite month of the year. <gasps> no, I want to sing about it. I love July. You want to know why? I love July. You want to know why? It's because July is the month where you can play outside, eat homemade ice cream, and do all the fun summer things. But it's also when we celebrate Christmas in July. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the- It is the best time of the year. Some of you are probably thinking that it doesn't feel like Christmas time, and that's okay. It doesn't have to feel exactly like Christmas time to celebrate it. That's what Christmas in July is all about. It just takes a little extra faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Take Christmas presents, for example. Even though we can't see what's inside, we have faith that it's something good and exciting because it's from someone who cares about us and wants us to be happy. Like this one is from my friend, Haley. Man, do I wanna see what's inside? Not a problem, just gotta focus all my senses. Or maybe I need to focus with an x-ray machine. Yeah. Okay, it's not a real x-ray machine, but it's homemade and it should do the trick. <laughs> Just one thing first. Got it! Now I can see what's inside. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. This may take a while. Today's story is all about gifts, by the way. Actually, it's about one gift. And it's a big one. You won't want to miss it. See you soon. Maybe it's a pair of socks. Or a composition book. Those are kind of black, aren't they? The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter two, verses eight and nine. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess, I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains, it sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid, and she's gonna have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Hickory. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Tina's offhanded comment. I do mess up a lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan, you're such a pain. That time last week when mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone. And that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway. I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. 
They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water... Oops, I'll just... I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. Hey Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead, I'll see you for s'mores after. Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. I just can't see it. Can, can you see it? No. Well, you know what I can see? I can see the amazing gift God gave to us. Not something we earned or worked for, <laughs> but a gift God had planned since the very beginning. See, when Adam and Eve first turned away from God, sin entered the world and people's relationship with God was broken. And people were waiting on God to send a savior. And that's exactly what he did. He sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay for the price of our sins. Jesus was God's gift to the world. So it's easy to think of things we can hold and unwrap as gifts, but this gift from God is so much bigger than anything that could fit inside a box. You'd need a really big box. Bigger. 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 Bigger? It doesn't matter if you found the biggest box on the planet. It still wouldn't be big enough. That's because there's no limit to God's grace. He loves you more than you can imagine. There's nothing you could do that would make him love you any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship with him that will last forever. So the one thing to remember today is this. Jesus is a gift for everyone. When we believe that, it helps us do good things and love others. Not because we're trying to earn God's love, but because we already know how much he loves us. And if you're not sure what you believe about God yet, guess what? God loves you so much, whether you realize it or not. It's like God is giving you a Christmas gift. All you gotta do is unwrap it. <laughs> That's the only way to really know what's inside. I'm 
going to the movies. Merry Christmas, everybody! Wow, guys, what an awesome story we had today. Um, you know, it's not really Christmas, but it gets exciting to think about it, right? And I mean, with all the crazy stuff that's been going on, why not? Why not have a little fun in our lives, right? Cool. All right, speaking of presents, in our Bible story today, or in the story that we learned today, we, um, we saw where the little girl that was at camp was worried about doing everything right because she thought she was so bad. But you know what? Grace is a lot bigger than that. And I think she realized that in the story today. And the key verse that they talked about today was found in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And I'm going to read that to you, okay? All right. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. That's pretty cool. Did you know that that means that no matter what you think you are or where you think you've been or how bad you think you've been, that God's grace is big enough to forgive you for that. And you have to have the faith to believe that he can save you. Now, if you don't have Jesus in your heart today, today is an awesome and amazing time to ask him into your heart. He wants to be your friend forever. He wants you to trust him no matter what. Today, you can make that wise choice. Bow your heads, close your eyes. If you choose to make the choice today, say this prayer with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your blessings and your love. I recognize that I have done wrong things, bad things, sinful things, and hurtful things in the past. I pray, God, that you would forgive me of those things and that you would help me focus on the good things that you would come into my heart today and that you could save me. Help me to be a witness and a light for you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. And thank you for dying on the cross so that I could be with you one day in eternity. Thank you so much for our story today. And thank you for all of our kids joining us. I pray God that they have a wonderful and blessed July. Help us to focus on faith. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, now maybe you can't convince your parents to get the Christmas tree out and the lights and all that, but maybe you can. I mean, like I said, it has been a pretty crazy couple of months. Maybe you'll just talk them into a couple of presents. <laughs> all right. Anyway, guys, we love you. We miss you and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Or should I say Merry Christmas? Makes my heart come alive Suddenly brought to life When I met you Reaching beyond the skies Running deep, stretching wide Perfect love realized Here with you Come on now Now there's not this for real You will never let go Never let go Words love beyond my control, out of control. What's up? This is real love. This is real love. Sing this is real love. This is real love.
into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I miss you. One, two, three, jump!